Welcome to Air Force Officer Qualifying Test AFOQT online lesson series. In this lesson, we'll go over table reading subset of your AFOQT test. So as always, pause the video and make sure that you understand the concept. Watch the video a few times and then download this application called AFOQT tutoring app from App Store or Google Play and it has um, table reading subset in the application so you could practice and you could also take um, the practice test after you complete this lesson. So let's get started. So the main topics in here is reading a table and find a specific value quickly. So this is a very important thing, find a specific value quickly. Before you start, let's go over what exactly um, this table reading subset look like in the actual test. In AFOQT table reading subset, there are 40 questions and you have to answer everything in seven minutes. Okay. Questions are centered your ability to read various table and um, accurately interpret the data presented. Okay. So this table um, will have some value. Um, and then you have to find the uh, correct answer. So there are mainly two types of um, question you might see. Type one, you will see um, X and Y grid, right? And you will have some value like that. You could see here you have negative four to positive four on the X axis and uh, Y axis you have negative four to um, positive four. And here are the question. Um, you could see here um, X and Y um, coordinate in here. Question number one, two, three, four, five, and it has the answer option A, B, C, D, or E. Right. So um, what do you have to do? Um, you have to take this X coordinate and Y coordinate, and you have to find the um, intersecting point. Okay. So we'll do some practice. So there are another type of question you might see. Um, you could see in the table um, if the pressure of uh, measure 660 millimeter mercury Hg, what is the pressure in Pascal? So you could see here the measurement of pressure in various units. So you could see here um, in that unit it is 660 in millimeter um, Hg. What will be in the Pascal in um, 88046 so here is an example you could see here in x axis you have negative 4 to positive 4 y axis same thing you have negative 4 to positive 4 and you have five question number 1 2 3 4 5 okay so using this information you have to quickly um, find the intersection of x and y axis and you have to find the value so you could see here um, um, number one x axis is um, negative one y is negative three so you could see here, first you go x and then you could go negative three and that is the intersection the correct answer is letter c number two you have x axis is zero um, x axis is zero y axis is two if you find the x axis 0 and y axis 2 and the intersecting point is 48, the correct answer is letter B is a 48. So the next is number 3. You could see here um, um, the intersecting point is negative 3 and 1. You use this information and find the correct answer. Okay. So you could see here is three, four, and five answer. F option is A, A, number four is D, number five is B. You could try by yourself. So there is another table here is um, answer the question from six to 10 based on the table. Okay. So um, you could see here how many ADMs are equal to 10 50 okay 1050 millibar so the correct answer is letter a you could see a 10 why is 1050 here is 1050 
in is in um millibar and you have to find in atm next is question seven you could see here 31 inch hg equal to how many pascal so you have to look at this um in hg column and find uh, where is um 31 so you could see a 31 in here in in uh, inch hg you have to find the value in pascal so you could see here go to the pascal column so that is the correct answer is answer option c so the next is uh, question number eight if the pressure is um in um 27 inch hg what is the pressure will be in atm so you have to go to um hg uh in a is 27 you could see here 27 here and you have to find that in in pressure in atm so you could find the pressure in atm right here question number nine seven seventy five mm of hg you need to find the value in terms of ins of hg you try by yourself and see which one you get that is another question question number 10 convert the pressure to pascal if it's measure 7 11 millimeter of mercury so you need to go to that um, particular table and you have to find out so you try by yourself and these are the answer option for um, answer 8 is letter e number 9 will be a number 10 will be d so now um practice a few times and download this application um aap oqt tutoring app and practice all this practice courses it will really really help you to pass the test we have also um uh, online subscription if you want to use your computer the link in the um in the description so uh, all the app link and web subscription link in the, in the description so um, so just uh, download this application or get the subscription and practice and it will really really help you uh, to prepare for the table reading section of your AAF OQT test. Thank you.